Yeshayahu, Isaiah 36. Now it came to pass in the 14th year of King Yekezekiahu that Sankarib, king of Asher, came up against all the defense cities of Yehuda and took them. And the king of Asher sent Rafshake from Lachish to Yerushalayim unto King Yekezekiahu with a great army. And he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. Then came forth unto him Eliakim, Kilkiyahu's son, which was over the house, and Shevna the scribe, and Yoah, Asaph's son, the recorder. And Rav Shake said unto them, Say ye now to Yekezekiahu, Thus says the great king, the king of Asher, What confidence is this wherein you trust? I say, say you, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. Now on whom do you trust that you rebel against me? Lo, you trust in the staff of this broken reed, on Mitzrayim, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim to all that trust in him. But if you say to me, we trust in El Yahuwah Eloheinu. Is it not he whose high places and whose altars Yekezek Yahu has taken away and said to Yehuda and to Yerushalayim, ye shall worship before this altar? Now therefore give pledges, I pray you, to my Adonai, the king of Asher, and I will give you 2,000 horses, if you be able on your part to set riders upon them. How then will you turn away the face of one captain of the least of my Adonai servants and put your trust on Mitzrayim for chariots and for horsemen? And am I now come up without Yahuwah against this land to destroy it? Yahuwah said unto me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim and Shevna and Yoah unto Ravshakeh, Speak, I pray you unto your servants in the Aramith language, for we understand it, and speak not to us in the Yehudas language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rav Shake said, has my Adonai sent me to your Adonai and to you to speak these words? Has he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? Then Rav Shake stood, and cried with a loud voice in the Yehudi's language, and said, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Asher. Thus says the king, Let not Yekezek Yahu deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. Neither let Yekezek Yahu make you trust in El Yahuwah, saying, Yahuwah will surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Asher. Hearken not to Yekezek Yahu, for thus says the king of Asher, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of grain and wine, a land of bread and vineyards, Beware, lest Yekezek Yahu persuade you, saying, Yahuwah will deliver us. Has any of the Elawai of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Asher? Where are the Elawai of Kamath and Arpan? Where are the Elawai of Sabarvai? And have they delivered Shomeron out of my hand? Who are they among all the Elawai of these lands that have delivered their land out of my hand? that Yahuwah should deliver Yerushalayim out of my hand. But they held their peace and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, saying, answer him not. Then came Eliakim, 
the son of Kilkiyahu, that was over the household, and Shevna the scribe, and Yoah the son of Asaph, the recorder, to Yahu with their clothes around, and told him the words of Rabshakeh.